ndugu zangu ningependa ku kuwakumbusha ama kuwafahamisha kwamba 2022 tutataka viongozi wa sawa na katika kutaka viongozi wa sawa hebu leo tujaribu kutukua mifano ya hawa magavana ili tujue kwamba katika 2022 je tutakuwa na governor ataweza kufanya haya mambo kama walivyofanya baadhi ya, ya magavana waliopita ama ambao wako hivi sasa na nafikiria ndugu zangu nitapigia mfano wa governor Alfred Mutua ambaye ni governor wa Machakos huyu bwana yeye is well educated na smart na very senior, very serious governor na pia ni mtu ambaye yuko pro people na pro development kwa watu wake hawa ndio watu ambao wanafanya kazi na huu ndio mfano ambao mimi ningependa kuwajulisha maana tukija katika ile youthfulness tutakuta kwamba governor Alfred Mutua na governor Joho wote ni katika age age hizo hizo tu za ujana lakini tofauti ni zile kazi zao ambazo wanazozifanya huyu governor wa Machakos na ni Alfred amejenga a very excellent park huko Machakos na tuki, tukiangalia hii park ambao aliyoitengeza ye na tukifananisha na mamangina waterfront is a total failure and even it was not done by the Mombasa county government it was done by the national government hiyo hiyo mamangina waterfront si 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 ya county government lakini angalia huyu governor wa Machakos amejenga park na imewaridhisha watu na watu wanakaa pale wanakwenda kutembea na kadhalika na isitoshe pia huyu governor Mutua amekuwa ranked the best performing governor katika mwaka wa 2015 2019 na 2020 hivi sasa pia anajulikana kwamba ni mtenda kazi na Machako has made a great strides in infrastructure development kwa mfano amejenga over 200 kilometers of tarmac roads over 8000 kilometer of grades road na hizi zote zime increase access to the county and, uh, and has triggered growth of wealth and prosperity kwa county ya Machakos lakini kwetu kumefanywa nini pia tukiangalia sana tutaona kwamba Machakos kabla huyu Alfred hajakuwa governor eh? ilikuwa eh, yani Machakos ikisafa from drought lakini angalia alipo yani ilikuwa ikisafa from drought na kisha wao they, they rely on relief food from national government leo hii machakos yajitosheleza wenye kwa chakula na wanauza vyakula kupita kiasi na wanapeleka kwenye county nyingine pia vile ambavyo wao na viproduce huyu bwana ameweka policies ambazo zina subsidize yani agricultural input kwa mfano kama mbolea na hybrids seeds na pia ameweza kuajiri kwa kwa ajiri maofisa ili wawasaidie wale wakulima katika kazi zao za farming method yani bwana huyu Alfred pia ameondoa hizi tabu za maji ambazo zinapatikana Machakos baina 2013 na 2020 20, yani kar- karibu miaka saba ame amejenga yani karibu 500 solar powered bowl holes ambayo inakava machako sword nzima kuongezea pia amejenga over 240 dams na water pan zile ambazo zina collect yale maji ya mvua kwa for agricultural use katika maeneo ya machakos na katika ahadi yake ni kwamba itakapofika mwisho wa mwaka 2020 atahakikisha yani kila nyumba sasa zimepata zile pipes za maji na hivi sasa hivi sasa hivi sasa ni kuambiavo 300 km of water pipes are already laid bwana huyu Alfred pia amewainua ame vijana kwa upande wa elimu amehakikisha kwamba yani yani vijana watakuwa na certificate diploma 
wataendelea university katika university na watakola collaborate na international university pia huyu ameweza kufanya haya yote na ni governor mmoja huyu ametekeleza haya yote bwana huyu pia ameanzisha yani free vocational training programs kwa watu wa machako especially the youth ili to study yani at the government vocational institution tena for free kabisa ana hii imesababisha vijana kuwa na skills katika mambo ya plumbing dressmaking mechanics masons na youth na hawa vijana hivi sasa pia wanapata makali wanapata makazi across the country kwa sababu gani ameweka msimamo wa elimu kwa vijana haya sasa tuje katika upande wa sports na recreation huyu bwana ameibadilisha machako ameifanya imekuwa ni premier sport tourism hub na amejenga a world class stadium in machakos kwa hakika stadium hii ni is the only fifa accredited stadium ambayo imekuwa built na county government na pia ime host international football tournaments women world cup qualifiers rugby tournaments na kadhalika amefanya huyu bwana wengine wamefanya nini sasa kuongezea zile kazi ambazo huyu bwana amezifanya additionally ni kwamba amejenga eight stadiums ambazo ziko katika machako sub counties eh? ambazo hizi ziko katika machako sub counties na zinatumika kama sport academies ambapo hivi sasa watu wamepata makazi kwa kujengwa hizi stadium nani kwa kila county sub county zile wamejengea wame, wame, wame watu sisi Mombasa tumejenga nini ama watu wa Lamu wamefanya nini Bwana Alfred huyu ni mmoja katika wale watu ambao wali fight against cancer na huyu huyu bwana amehakikisha kwamba over 3000 resident wamekuwa tested na pia amefanya cancer awareness campaign a common in machakos sasa basi kuongezea ndugu zangu. Hizi health center zote ziko ambazo ziko, ma, ziko machako ziko equipped, ziko staffed na ziko stocked with medicine. Na machakos resident enjoy free cancer screening in all health facility. Kwa nini haiwi Mombasa ikafanywa hivi? Ama Lamu ama maeneo mengine ya pwani. Yataka pia tufahamu kwamba Machakos is the first county government ambayo ina cancer center ambayo pia ina operational cancer research facility ambazo na, zina provide free treatment under NHIF Huyu bwana anastahiki kupawa cheo zaidi ya hicho Sasa basi tukija kiuchumi utaona bwana Mutua eh amei transform Machakos into a solid investment hub ambayo local na international investors are flowing into machakos land value yenyewe zimeshoot prices zake kwa hivyo ndugu zangu wale watu wa machakos yani resident wa, wa machakos are enjoying yani they are enjoying better economic growth and prosperity bwana huyu Alfred Mutua sifa zake zinapita zinapita kiasi Yani he is also leading the fight against corruption. Na pia he is the only governor who has presented him, himself to to EACC. Yani amejitambulisha ile thamani yake yale mali yake na ameyapata vipi? Na mpaka mwisho pia wale close relative wake amewafanya pia waingie katika mfano mmoja ili nini kuonyesha kwamba zile biashara ninazofanya mimi si kuwahusisha family yangu pia wamekuwa wamechekiwa Sasa ndugu zangu huu ndio muktasar ambao mimi nawapa brief ya governor Alfred Mutua Haya sasa tukimfananisha huyu governor huyu governor wa Mutua na governor Mombasa na magovernor wengine utaona kwamba kuna tofauti kubwa sana. Kwa hivyo ndugu zangu kwa hivyo nasema hivi kwa yule ambaye atakaupigania urais katika 2022 kwanza lazima aoneshe kwamba amefanya majukumu yake wakati alipokuwa ni kiongozi. Kwa hivyo ikiwa wewe ukiwa hukufanya majukumu yoyote basi wewe pia huwezi kuwa president 2022. Kwa hivyo ndugu zangu conclusion yangu ni kwamba
yani ikiwa governor mutua atakakuwa ni president kwa hakika yeye ameonyesha zile ability zake na kuonyesha zile ability zake na kuwa amefanya makazi sasa tukifananisha na magavana wengine tutaona kwamba baadhi ya magavana wengine hawakufanya kitu chote ili kuwezesha wao kupigania urais katika hiyo 2022 kwa hivyo ni lazima utu uoneshe kitu ambacho ukifanya katika wakati ulipokuwa katika ukubwa ili na wewe upate kupata hiyo kura za urais uemtoe yote